Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, two thirds being the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the, uh, the resolution is agreed to, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Without objection, the title is amended. Bill H.R. 4270 as amended. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, two thirds being the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without objection, the motion reconsidered is laid on the table. Without objection, the title is amended. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For years, the people of Hong Kong have faced a barrage of unjust and harsh restrictions on their freedoms. And those who have stood up for their rights have been met with a cruel crackdown. In Congress, Democrats and Republicans, in the House and in the Senate, stand united with the people of Hong Kong. If America does not speak out for human rights in China because of commercial interest, then we lose all moral authority to speak out for human rights any place in the world. This is standing up for ideals that people around the world are willing to die for. And it's this body that can send a strong message to the Chinese Communist Party, to Xi Jinping, that says we will not let liberties and freedom be taken away from people that have claimed that, that have known that all their life, and that that should be honored by those that are trying to take it apart. And before they want to take it apart, I suggest Xi Jinping and the Communist Party try freedom and liberty, try democracy for a while, you might like it.